Hello everybody, welcome to Daily Entomologist. Um, not really sure what's all going to be in this video, but to start out with, we're going to do some black lighting. Alright, so, um, the night's just started. Um, not too much has shown up yet. Let me tell you though, the mosquitoes are horrendous. Um, I mean, they are terrible. So I had to put a lot of repellent on. Um, but we do have, uh, some uh, pretty interesting things showing been uh, showing up. I've already collected a, a couple beetles. You saw that moth there. This uh, very pretty moth right here. Been here for a few minutes. Um, this is a cool one. This is one I've actually never seen before. See a really, uh, really pretty species. I really like the coloration and pattern of that. That's a, that's a really nice. Um, let's see. Let some more smaller aquatic beetles show up. Some more aquatic insects, some more uh, beetles. Um, we have uh, these moths showing up as well. More small, oh, well, I have a ruby tiger moth, just kicked that moth out of its place and landed right there. Uh, a beautiful moth replaced by another beautiful moth. Um, here we got a really nice sized mosquito. I'm going to try to uh, get some of those. Um, here's that moth again that was so rudely interrupted. Or at least the same species of moth. See, uh, quite a beautiful pattern and all that stuff. And there's a few of those ones hanging around. So, yeah. Pretty much the beginning of the night for this uh, little session. Um, I'll do a few more updates as the night goes on and show you what's uh, all coming to the to the sheet. All right, so update time. Um, starting to actually pick up here a little. Um, beginning uh, some more moths in. A beautiful uh, species right there. Um, looks like here we have some sort of uh, A uh, two sock moth of some sort. I got tons more of those moths coming in. Pretty cool looking moth right there. Some sort of geometrity moth. Um, I've been seeing. Uh, some uh, arched hook tips. 
which are uh, these moths. They're uh, they're a really pretty, really really pretty really cool species. I like their wings, of course. That one flying around. And, uh, yeah. I have no clue where it went. But, oh, here's another, uh, two sock moth, it looks like. I also think there's a one uh, on the other underside of the sheet as well. But there is a uh, Catacalla species, uh, underwing moth. I was just flying around here before I grabbed the camera about five minutes ago. And it landed up here, and now it's gone, and I haven't seen it. So I'm really, really hoping um, that I'll come back because I kind of really hope I can uh, get it. So if I catch it or if it comes back and I get it, I'll definitely try and show you guys. Well, as I promised, I said if the underwing came back, I would show you guys and it indeed came back. You see, absolutely beautiful. The color of those underwings are, are truly spectacular. Most species have those dull forewings and then the hindwings are that really awesome brightly colored so yeah I'm really happy it came back um, it's definitely one I want to keep and uh, who knows maybe I'll get lucky and some more uh, underwings will fly in this evening well it's actually been a couple videos since uh, doing some uh, day collecting, but uh, last day here in Wisconsin doing collecting and fly fishing, and uh, trying to do uh, some a little collecting today. And hopefully, they'll get a lot of good stuff. I mean, as you can see, there's a couple butterflies here. Uh, good number of bees. So, uh, hopefully, everything will grow out with uh, out of, without a problem. Got a lot of Bombus and Patience and uh, got a Bombus Ternarius right there. Of a Carlianathus pennsylvanicus, a uh, type of species of soldier beetle, really common around here. We'll be collecting those for people. And uh, yeah. Obviously, if I see anything uh, interesting, I'll uh, try and film it. 
All right, so caught a vice right here, and uh, I'll be able to show you the difference between a monarch and a viceroy. Uh, hopefully. So here's a Viceroy in hand. As you can see, the colors are pretty much identical to the Monarch. Uh, but the main thing to notice right away here on the underside is that line that goes across the hind wing right there. Um, that line that goes across like that. Um, that is uh, only found on a Viceroy's and is not present on a monarch. Um, another way to tell are the four wing uh, tips right there. I'll open it up here a little. You can see as you can see pretty plain just some uh, a couple of white dots and uh, it's just orange pattern and uh, the body is of course uh, different as well uh, but uh, and they're smaller than a monarch so uh, when you look at pictures side by side it's pretty easy to tell the difference um, so I'm gonna sh try and catch you a monarch here and uh, we'll take a look at the pattern and uh, the differences on that species. All right, so here we have a monarch. Um, hopefully, we will get this one out without a problem. Although it is tough doing it one-handed. Dang it, I almost hit it. Alright. So, we have a monarch. And the very first thing you can tell uh, if you look at the hind wing, there's that line that's missing that goes across the underside of the hind wing there. So that's really easy to tell once you actually know what you're looking for. Just if you can get a glance at the hind wing and the presence or not of that line that goes across that is a telltale sign. Um, so then looking at the wings. You can see the difference in the wings right there. And if you look at the inside, you can see the monarch here has more orange dots and a lot less uh, orange yellowish tannish dots right there. And a lot less of the regular orange color on the wings and uh, um, yeah. So since these two uh, Butterflies are being showed uh, right next to each other. You should be able to pretty easily see the difference. The hind wings are right there, and the look of the uh, four wings at the tips right there, and of course, the body is different as well. So yeah, that's the basic difference between a uh, adult monarchs and uh, viceroys. Um, Yeah. Mimicry is an awesome thing. So, yeah. Lots of monarchs and viceroys flying. Uh, so.
So I have no clue if I'm gonna be able to find some more stuff or not, but we'll keep looking. All right, so the amount of bumblebees out here is just ridiculous. So I'm gonna sweep this uh, area of uh, flowers here to hopefully try and give you a sense of uh, just how many uh, bumblebees there are. Hopefully I can do without breaking anything important. I'm going to come back this way and do these flowers over here. I hope you can hear that. And at least see the outline of them. I mean, son of a biscuit one just stunned me. Ouch. Right through the net. So, uh, See if we need to see, look at all those bumblebees. So yeah. And that was just from this little section right here. It's like that all the way down this trail. It's ridiculous. Uh, but uh, there's some interesting stuff in here. I'm actually going to stop here and uh, try and uh, collect. Um, well, I'm back home in Colorado. Uh, obviously, I didn't uh, film anymore or really find anything more to film uh, there. So, drove back. Now I'm back home. I got all these packages waiting for me. Uh, part of my uh, effort of... Um, updating my uh, collection so we're getting closer and closer to the what I want it to look like um, probably just a couple more weeks I'm hopefully uh, if everything goes as planned and it'll be all set to go and we'll be able to I'll be able to uh, finally do uh, a brand new full collection tour update video and um, just show you guys the new look and how awesome it's going to be. So, yeah, hope you enjoy this video. Um, comment, like, subscribe, whatever you would like to do. I enjoy all my goodies for my grandma. Um, and I'll uh, see you guys next time.